All right, thanks for watching. And today I want to show you a really cool proof that square root of 2 is irrational that you may not have seen before. And this proof I found in the book Discrete Math by Rosen, which I don't really like, but I do have to say it has some really cool exercises. In particular, let's show that square root of 2 is irrational by induction. So let Pn be the proposition that square root of 2 cannot be written in the form n over b for any b positive. And convince yourself that this would show that square root of 2 is irrational, uh, at least assuming square root of 2 is positive. All right, well, let's do the base case. Well, is it true that square root of 2 cannot be written in the form 1 over b for any b positive? Well, yes, because notice 1 over b that is less than or equal to 1 but square root of 2, since 2 is bigger than 1, square root of 2 is strictly bigger than 1. So in fact, you cannot write square root of 2 as 1 over some positive integer. All right, and now let's do the inductive step. And here you'll see, because we don't always have something exactly for n, it's actually good to use strong induction. You know, strong induction. So <laughs> inductive step. So suppose, all right, let's see, uh, suppose P1, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes, so suppose P1 up to PK, so, sorry, suppose P1 up to PN is true, that is, square root of 2 is not equal to K over B for any B, or for any B positive. for any b positive and k from 1 to n. So you cannot write it of the form something over a positive number where that something is at least between 1 over n. And what you want to show is that you cannot write square root of 2 in the form n plus 1 over some positive number. And I'll show pn1 plus 1 is true. That is, square root of 2 cannot be written in the form n plus 1 over b, where for any b. Positive. And this we have to do by contradiction. And You'll see, actually, it's pretty much the same as the proof that square root of 2 is irrational, like the classical one. But you'll see it's, it's a very nice application of strong induction. So suppose square root of 2 equals to n plus 1 over b for some b. b. Then just do the usual spiel, square both sides. Then what we get is 2 equals n plus 1 squared over b squared. So n plus 1 squared equals 2b squared. But in particular, what that tells you is that n plus 1 squared is even. And therefore, uh, n plus 1 is even. Simply because an, if a number is odd, the square is odd, so by the contrapositive, if the square of a number is even, that number is even. So n plus 1 is even, and I can't even, and in particular, n plus 1 equals to 2 times a, where a is some positive integer. Okay. And notice, uh, a has to be less than or equal to n. I think that's very important. And then, well, since n plus 1 equals 2a, let's go back to this identity and plug things in. So then, 
what we get is 2a squared equals 2b squared, and then 4a squared equals 2b squared, and then b squared equals 2a squared. So same thing as before, therefore b squared is even, and so b is even. So b equals 2b prime for some b prime yeah. integer. OK, again, 2b or not 2b prime, that is a question. OK, and then, well, let's go back to square root of 2. So what does that tell you? Square root of 2. That becomes n plus 1 over b. Okay. But remember, n plus 1, that is 2a. Okay. And b is 2b prime. Okay. Boom, boom. And that gives you a over b prime. But that's a beautiful contradiction. Why? Because notice, you wrote square root of 2 as something over b prime, where that something is between 1 and n. You see, this a is either 1, 2, 3, up to n. But we assumed that we cannot write square root of 2 as something over an integer, where that something is between 1 and over n. n. So in particular, that actually contradicts the proposition p a. p a. And therefore, we have shown that square root of 2 cannot be written in the form n plus 1 over something. And therefore, pn plus 1 is true. And therefore, pn is true for all n. And therefore, square root of 2 is irrational. And therefore, we're done. <laughs> all right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. <laughs>